I love it. Oh, yay. All right. Okay. I like to say hi. Hi. Hello, Christine. I love this. Yay. Good morning or good afternoon, everyone. To you guys. Rainy and windy day. I know all about that. <laughs> And I, oh, yes, you do. Oh, my gosh. So you're here and you are, um, how's today's weather? It's trying to be sunny, but at least it's not raining. We couldn't okay. get out of our driveway last night. We were flooded in. Oh, my gosh. We dropped like over four inches of rain just yesterday. I don't like that. <laughs> She's like, <laughs> You guys, we are so excited that um, we're going to be having so much fun talking about one of our favorite subjects ever. Ah! Oh, or my favorite subject. I'm pretty sure it's yours because we. Well, it is it's mine in large part due to Abby. <laughs> <laughs> I'm putting most of the blame on her. Well, I was so happy that you're coming down the um, rabbit hole with me because if any of you guys watch my channel, you know that I'm a little um, fragrance obsessed. What do we call people like myself with this? Right. They, I've heard other people call them fragrance heads. <laughs> yeah, fra fra Hello, Lisa. Yeah. Hey, Lisa. Um, um, okay, good. Oh, that's so funny. So yes, anyways, we were so excited because now Mandy and I chat about everything. Frag heads. Yeah, frag heads, that's right. And y'all, we are doing this very casual. Chad's back yes. to back starting the microwave like right when I do a live. So we're, <laughs> we're, this is a very chill um, live, so. Yeah. We I just thought it would we thought it would be fun because we've been going back and forth on lots of perfumes lately. <laughs> Jeez. And we thought it would be fun. Yeah, I was looking for a text that we like a, a specific text that we sent. And I think it was only like two days beforehand. And it took me like 10 minutes just to scroll back and find it from two days before because of how, how much we um text. Hi, Mr. Mandy in the background. They're saying hi, Mr. Oh, Randy. No, well, they could while you were at the microwave. <laughs> oh, hello. I love it. And and Lisa's blaming everything on me. I love it, Lisa. She's I blame like, everything on her too when it comes to pregnancy. I, I feel the way that way about you, Mandy. <laughs> <laughs> hello, Becky. Hey, Becky. Thank you. Oh, you guys. So we are so excited. Okay. So how do we want to do our little round? Okay. And a heads up, you guys, I, we tried to do top seven kind of including our wish list. But the problem is, is I think both of us have like recently been, you know, collecting <laughs> some yeah. fragrances. Yeah. So I don't know if I have a wish list per se, but I'm going to just go through. I thought we would, anyways, you tell me how, well, um, so I think it's going to be a little bit different. I think it's good. It like spices it up because Abby has a much bigger collection than me. She's, she's been a, a frag head for way longer. <laughs> so she, I think it was easier for her to pick out her top seven. Whereas I have more of a wish list because I'm just starting, you know, to really, um, collect certain like niche more fragrances. And so I split it up. <clears throat> I'm not exactly how sure she did it, but I split it up kind of half and half. I'm going to show the three or four fragrance and fragrances that I'm really loving right now. And then I'm going to talk about the four that are like n really high up on my wish list. And I really, I think the reason we wanted to do this as a live is because we want your feedback, especially on the wish list items. I know, I mean, I haven't said this to Abby, but I'm sure she feels the same way. Like if we talk about something on our wish list and y'all have it or y'all have smelt it, please chime in. So yes. we love give and take. And you guys, we um, you know, I love fragrance, so does she. So we were gonna share some, but then we have, you know, within lot like I kind of picked a couple lines that I think need to be talked about and yeah shared so um so we're just so excited hey hey everybody love oh i love my darling dog too michelle thank you oh uh, you will likely be in my lap before this is all over with so or at least trying to be um okay do you want to start with your first okay yeah oh my goodness where do i start all right i guess i'm going to start well let me start with the one that i actually have on today 
And this is a little bit of a cheat because it is one of the ones that I have been loving the most. And I think it'll probably segue into some of Abby's. Um, but it, it's technically a sample and it is by BDK and it would Jasmine. So I still, I just have this sample, but I'm telling y'all, this could be in my favorite I'm loving right now and absolute number one top on my wish list because I do think this is going to be the next one I get full size. This is so good. And it is from what I've seen on other reviews, because I have samples of a lot of the BDK perfumes, but from what I've seen is it's one of the very, the stronger ones. And I think maybe Abby can talk more about this because she's got a lot more full size. Um, but this is, and y'all would be so proud of me. I took notes. Yeah. <laughs> like all my, like everybody knows about my notebooks. I love my notebooks. Um, so it's got plum and pear, Two different kinds of jasmines, which I don't really know the difference in jasmine. I just, it's just jasmine. Um, there's balsam, incense, which gives it that kind of, I don't know how to explain it, maybe thicker, headier vibe. Like it's not, I wouldn't necessarily call this a super fresh perfume. Um, vanilla, it does have a little bit of patchouli, but that's not what I smell the most. She's smelling it right now. Do you smell that the most? And I think there's a definite like sultriness to yeah. this. Like this is a um, stronger, sultry, um, I don't smell like, so the jasmine part probably threw me off a little bit cause I not, it doesn't smell super pronounced to my nose. I feel like it's woods and um, I mean, you can smell some, but it yeah, isn't. But it's it's not expecting a jasmine fragrance. Yeah, like, I, I don't think you're gonna get it. <laughs> yeah. And we were just talking before we came on. There's something that's been a long time since I've smelled this particular perfume, but there's something in it that reminds me of Tom Ford Metalique. It's not exactly the same, but it's similar. I really like this. And while some people would say it's more appropriate for nighttime, I'm all over it during the day. I don't do rules like that when it comes to perfume. Oh, me either. So yeah, I wear it. Do I want to share my story about that other perfume? <laughs> yes. Yeah, I think it's a great story. <laughs> So just you guys, this is just a little funny one, but I was wearing Tom Ford Metalik, um, and I was happen happening to get my first colonoscopy that day. And, you know, I was all, I had my face on and I put my perfume on and they, everybody was complimenting me on my perfume, but I was like, of course you are, because what you're doing <laughs> In comparison to what you smell all day, I know. I, I know I couldn't help it, but they're like, "Wow, you smell so good!" And both of us are like laughing because we both really like that one, and we both don't have a full bottle. For, so for Sephora sale, we're both contemplating. Yeah, because um, I do like the Metalique. So there's the powderiness. I think that we're both like yes. um, smelling. Lisa, is it the incense? Um, that the Tom Ford Metalique has also. I don't know because I have smelled and I have other incense perfumes. There's something a little bit different. That could be something. Um, Christine, the, the brand is BDK. That is the name of the brand. And the particular scent is Wood Jasmine. <laughs> That's what the big bottles look like. I'll let her talk about her next favorite. And from I'm just like, going to go right into um, BDK because you guys, I fell in love with BDK. And I have five bottles of BDK and I can't even find the one that I was actually going to talk about, but um, that's funny. Okay. But anyway, so I, um, I love Gris Charnel. I'm not already cheating you guys, but I'm just saying I like this brand in general. I was going to talk about Passissoir and you know what though? Let's go ahead, Mandy, and talk about Tuberose and Pierre. Yeah because for some reason I'm um, I'm probably looking right at it, you guys, but the BDK brand in general, I would say is amazing. There's going to be something for everyone in that line. Mm -hmm. um, and I don't know, I just kind of fell in love with, like you fell in, what do you have another? Is this the other one that you're thinking about? Well, I really, I haven't smelled that one though. But yes, that, oh, oh, I love yeah. it, but, but that would have, that would be a blind buy. So I need to add that to my sample list. Um, but I definitely want that, is, that has piqued my interest for sure. Um, I would say probably my other favorite one that I've smelled is Rouge Smoking. The only thing about that is that it doesn't last that long on yeah. me. 
I don't know if it does with you, but the longevity is not quite there. But if you're someone who doesn't mind like reapplying the same perfume over and over, then <laughs> I love the thing. Like, like, that's right. You guys, that is one true thing about me. I was not good at math. I still am not like, you know, you just have to know your strengths and your weaknesses. <laughs> so um, I can't believe I can't find my... Um, Okay. Well, anyways, you guys, I had Passoir to talk about because that is sort of my fun, flirty, um, fruity floral, which is something that I don't feel like I, I thought that I wasn't attracted to those kind of fragrances, but that one was like love upon first sniff. I felt like it was sweet. It's very sweet. It's very it's, sweet. It was Chad's favorite out of all of the samples that I had. I make him smell them all much to his Demise. Oh my gosh, my husband I'm really, I'm really upset, you guys, because my daughter is going to be going off to college. Um, and she helps me smell, like, because my husband does not, he'll indulge me from time to time, but it, it really is not his favorite. So I don't know what I'm going to do. No, Chad, could, Chad honestly could care less, but he does tell me my fa his favorites upon my samples, and the passoir was his favorite. And, so I asked him, where can we get BDK, Grace? Um, we have them listed down in the description box. Uh, well, we will of the live, but I would say probably the top places would be Selfridges and Lucky Scent. Yep. Right? So, yep. Lucky Scent has all of them, um, or most of them, I'm pretty sure. Selfridges, you guys, if you have the Selfridges account, um, it's $55 for shipping for the year long, but generally, like perfumes are a bit cheaper there. Mm -hmm. We, I just want to do, we want to do a quick caveat saying always get samples, um, try them on your skin because just because we may love something, um, you know, I always just tell people your skin, your chemistry, all of that. Like we have a couple that we are, I'm surprised because we tend to like similar fragrances, but it, one didn't work on me versus her, you know, <laughs> Um, so, so just always in, um, a couple places where you can get samples are Lucky Scent does them. Fragrances line. Isn't that yeah. I put some fragrances line .com. That's where I get most of mine. Yeah. You, Cause they have a really extensive, um, like, I feel like you can get a lot of their fragrances and I'm a little bit funny cause I like spray. Um, I don't like the samples in the dabber because I like to spray. I don't know why. So the fragrances line, you can pick what kind of sample you're getting. So um, oh, Beauty Habit. Oh, good. That's great. I love Beauty Habit. Okay. They say they okay. Beauty Habit has a BDK in the sample program. Th Ooh. That's awesome. Free, free shipping. shipping. That's great. Thank yeah. you. Ooh. Okay. Yes. But I, and also you guys, Lucky Scent is one of my favorite, like, Steve and Dana do these live um, <laughs> events on their um, live Instagram, and it's not. Ooh, I need to I'm like making notes over here. Yeah, I'm because when you it. watch them, I pretty much always have to get something after listening to them, but they do really great, um, fun, you know, little monday kind of instagram live events and with different topics so um love that company and always want to support so. <laughs> okay bdk in general you yes. guys i think both of us agree like beautiful line like i went down the rabbit hole because i tried oh. one and then another but passoir and i think one thing that you just nailed on is that my husband and family love passoir too mm -hmm. I think that a lot of times pleasers like compliment getters tend to be kind of either sweet fragrances or freshies I mm -hmm. found those are the ones that I get the most compliments but I don't always look for that like I'm not you know of course it's nice to get a compliment but you really are sort of wanting to wear you know like on the day-to-day -day, you do you make you know wear what makes you happy and feels good or you know I, each fragrance always gives me a different mood every day's part of the fun is like <clears> oh, <throat> oh. <laughs> what do i want to um you know what do i want to feel like today so right it's definitely yeah. no rules just like there's no rules in makeup and everybody's like oh only wear a smoky eye out and i'm like girl i will rock a purple smoky eye at kroger during the day <laughs> just like i will rock an oud and leather perfume 
Like, yes, you be you, I be me. <laughs> so I love it. Okay. So who's, okay. is it me yeah. or do we, okay. All right. So this one, I honestly thought, and I texted Abby about this. I thought that this line was being discontinued, but then I saw on Selfridges two new scents from them. So I'm like, well, maybe they're not. This is the Lancome Maison line. Oh yeah. So it's their little bit uh, pricier line. Yes. So this is technically the front, but I like this, like to call this the front because the plate's so pretty. It's got those pretty iris on them. This is iris and y'all. I would say draggies, but I know that's not how you say it. It's D R A G E E S, draggies. It's so good. It is so good. And I think I've talked about this a lot in my, um, uh, just a little bit. I've talked about this a lot in my recent videos, I feel like, or no, maybe it was in my Instagram. Yeah, I, I talked about it on my Instagram. I love Iris. I am, I'm beginning to realize that that is just like, you're something I really like. I like some people are like, I don't, you know, a lot of people don't like powdery scents. Apparently, I do. I didn't think I like powder either. And then yeah. I like so many powdery scents, but it depends, you guys. It, I get what you're saying, but about powdery, but this, you guys, this is it's to me different. like, it's so like, you it's know, got bergamot, pink pepper, iris. Mm -hmm. It has almond and yeah. sugar in the middle. And I heard somebody when they were talking about this say they they thought it smelled like Jordan almonds. Oh, yeah. And I'm like, well, well I guess I could make. Um, and are you still chatting, honey? Or are you frozen? When I first smelled this, you guys, is I smelled like this, like beautiful, like lingerie drawer, like a pretty sort of like pretty lingerie, like just beautiful. On my side, you guys, everything's just a little frozen. And there we go. Hold on just a minute. Mandy. <laughs> I, you guys, I'm just checking in to see if, if everybody. <laughs> okay, good. So she is a little, oh, she's going to click back in, you guys. She's coming back in. She's, uh, she got, <laughs> okay. I'm glad that this is, but really quick while she is popping back on, I'll let her in in two seconds. She should be dialing back in. Uh, but sh this one we both have, and this is that Lancome, and it is just gorgeous. And I guess I think of it as something very, like, um, it, very, again, I was kind of like that lingerie door, but like pretty silky. Hi, hi, Tammy. Um, just a really pretty, very feminine scent. So really enjoying that. Look at everybody. Good evening from Ireland. I love it. Bandy is going to come back on with me, you guys. <laughs> oh, oh, I love that. Okay. She's trying to try Fragrance Dubois Santal Complete. It is a beautiful fragrance. I love it. Um, Actually, that's not the one I have. This is new Demi's new one, which I do love too. Um, you guys are so cute. She is coming back on in just a minute. You know what? That's a brand. So I'm getting a question as to whether I've tried L'Artisan Parfumer and I have not. Um, but that's on my list. So we have lots of uh, we have lots of perfume brands. So I love you guys. I love hearing from you. Oh, Lori, you guys are so fun. Okay, so while she is getting back on, I guess I'll go on to my next one. But you guys, if you have watched my channel, um, I have fallen in love with Ormond Jane. Oh, here she is. <laughs> Hold on one minute. Y'all, this <laughs> weather stuff, I can't handle it. I hope to goodness that doesn't happen again. It's not even bad outside, but our power has been flickering on and off. Um, you're so cute. Okay, question for you because we, yeah. were, we were talking about this one while you were gone, yeah. and someone wanted to know if you felt like it smelled like lipstick on. No, and I don't, I don't think that. it smells anything like lipstick on. Um, so unfortunately, I don't think it's it's a dupe for that. It's got like, yeah, no, the powderiness in this isn't a makeup powdery. 
you know how there's some that are like more floral powdery and some makeup powdery? Yeah. This is not a makeup powdery. No. I'm sure you went on to a different one, but that this is one of my favorites. I love it. I was just, yeah, <laughs> that is a good one. No, I was just about to, and then I'm getting well, the, some summer favorites. And um, Ivana, <clears throat> I will think like there is, I do have one with coconut. Yeah. Uh, hold on, I have to go grab it. Hold on. Well, I can talk about one that I just recently got that has a bit of a coconut scent. And it's from, it's a designer fragrance, which I, I love designer fragrances. But this is it's from Lancome and it's their new flanker of the um, Olivia the, Bell, the Soleil Crystal. I was wondering about that one. Yeah. You sent me a picture and you're like, the bottle is so gorgeous. Um, the difference, I believe, is the added coconut. So um, it does have on the dry down. I don't get the coconut on the Lancome. Like first off, I have to wait for the dry down. But then I get this like really like warm coconutty scent, which... I adore. So that's one of my favorite coconuts right now. So one of the ones that this one is from Fragrance Dubois, and this is Oud Jean Intense. And this is just like tropical paradise in a bottle. Which you um, wouldn't think with Oud in the name. No, but this is not like, I mean, I don't even, I know it says it has Oud in here, but this is not like that. It is like, woo. I mean, this is such a like, you know, tropical go on vacation. Like I loved pulling this out during um, kind of quarantine, like when we're like in lockdown time, because you could kind of feel like you escaped someplace. Yeah, yeah. And this would be something I would put on to kind of feel um, like I was going someplace fun. And so that's a good summer coconut, but they think we have some other ones, but. Um, Someone, yeah. um, Morag said Guerlain has a gorgeous coconut perfume. I don't know if you're talking about the um, the coconut fizz perfume that they have, the Eau de Toilette from there. What's that line called? I know what you're saying. It's the, the Aqua Allegory, yeah. Allegory line. Yeah, I have that one. I do really like that too. Yeah. Um, okay, I was going to go on to this little, this is fragrance for life for me, guys. This is Ormond Jane. And like, this is like, I literally went saying that is huge because I love lots of perfumes. But when I smelled this, I just completely fell in love. I love this Ormond Jane line. So as far as wish lists, um, there's a few other ones that I have wanted to try from them or, you know, get as well. I got like a little sample set. Have you tried any of these? I have ones? not tried any, but of course it's on my list because of you. <laughs> every list you always send me has an Ormond Jane scent in it. So I'm like, oh. I need to check this out. So you guys, this one is like dreamy and elegant and um, there's a bit of powderiness to it. So that's why Mandy, I kind of think you're going to like it. And what's it called again? This is Royal Elixir. And Royal Elixir. This is an amped up version of their Amber um, Royale fragrance. So they have like a line and then this is kind of like the amped up version of it. And it is just, you guys, like it just, it makes me feel so good when I'm wearing it. Um, and it's got like a little bit of greenness. Like one thing about the Ormond Jane is that they, there's sort of a green note that is kind of going, weaving through most of them I'm finding, but it is not, I don't, I don't typically lean towards those green, mm -hmm. kind of freshy ones. Um, but so it has this like amber base. It's just gorgeous. It's got some florals in it. And it's just, I think there's a play off of this kind of, you know, got an elegant side, but a playful side to it. And it just makes me feel like a million bucks when I wear it. And it how is the, how is the, um, pro, like how long does it proje take? projection and lasting power? Yeah. So this one is like someone wrote me cause they bought it and they were like, Ooh, this is beast mode. I don't find it to be like total beast mode, but it's going to last all day long. Right. Like this isn't like when I think of beast mode fragrances, I think of Oud Satin Mood. Like if I have one spray to like, if I over spray this, I'm going to be too much. Um, am I frozen now? No. 
Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm on my screen. Oh, there it is. So anyways, this one, you guys, I just, I have to, like the whole line, I just think is kind of a, definitely something to check out. And Mandy, I kind of think you might like. Oh, I know I will. <laughs> I, like, I'm, I'm over here writing notes. Okay. I've got like three things on there so far. <laughs> oh. <laughs> So I, let me see. There's a one that says, do you know about chocolate, man? I do not. Straight up chocolate. I got to check that chocolate out. Man, I do. So I just purchased one two days ago because I got my fragrances line, <laughs> my, my samples in. And it's so funny because the one that I got um, was my favorite out of all the samples. And I had like probably 13 samples. <clears throat> and somebody sent me a, a direct message on Instagram that night. And they were like, I think you need this perfume. I think you would love it. We have similar scents. I'm like, girl, I just bought that. We do have similar scents. Please <laughs> oh, I know this one. Yes. Okay. Anyway, that has chocolate in it. Yeah. It has a definite chocolate. It's the um, Guerlain Gourmand Coquine. Co Coquine. 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 Yeah. I, and the funny thing is, is I um, have had gone through a whole bottle of that. Like, I love that one. Oh, I love it. Guerlain is another brand I think is mm -hmm. gorgeous. like, I, that's a, like, if we're just kind of talking lines worth yeah. investigating. Okay. Okay. I'm going to talk about this one. Cause I know you have this one too. I don't think you have the, the last one that I'm loving, but this is from Mancera. Oh, Mandy made me buy this. You guys. <laughs> Uh oh, is she frozen? Okay, you guys, if she's frozen, she's gonna get back on. But Mandy made me buy Mansara Royal Vanilla. And I don't wanna take away from her cause she's, she's talking about it. You guys, let me know if you can hear her. Oh, that's cool. I'm reading some of the comments over here. <laughs> oh, there she goes. Okay, she's going to pop back on. You guys will get back to this one because I want her to talk about this, but I just have to laugh because she was like, you need to get this with me. Um, so, okay, we'll give her two seconds. She's frozen. Thank you, Eileen. Okay. Um, you guys, I'm going to quickly come. Yep. She's you guys, she popped off. So just so you know, she lives in Tennessee and they have been experiencing so many tornadoes um, and, you know, power outages and stuff like that. So she had already told me it's been flickering. It, it's sunny in her area, but she will be back on and she's texting me. So don't worry, she'll be plugged back in in just a second. You're stuck with me for a minute. Um, yes, I do. I love the house of Siage Air and Tierra is my favorite ever. Um, okay, so I guess I'm gonna move on. You guys, the Roja Par perfumes recently la launched this essence to perfumes, <laughs> an essence line. So if you've ever tried any of Roja perfumes in general, um, some of them you might think are like very powerhouse, maybe a little bit um, strong, those kind of things. And they have come out with a line that is an essence, like a little bit lighter, a little bit more approachable, a little bit easier to wear. And it's, they picked out their perfumes, um, like their best sellers from the women's line and created these. And I have completely fallen down the rabbit hole on this brand, on this line, because um, I just think they're beautiful. I think they're easy to wear. And the one that I was wanting to talk about today was um, Roja. This is 51. And this is described as the epitome of elegance. And I do have to say kind of along that line um, that we were talking about with the Royal Elixir. This one, um, again, is just one that kind of brings a smile to my face. It was immediate, like I smelled it and I loved it. Um, it is basically, oh good, here she comes. I just don't think I'm set to do these lives. 
I really do. <laughs> I, I was laughing. Oh, yeah. I love that. Honey, you're doing good. Is it just flickering? No, it's just going on and off. I don't know if somebody else, like, I'm sweating, y'all. <laughs> I don't know if somebody else, like, um, if the, just all the storms that we've had, if they're working on power for someone else and it's, and it's affecting oh, ours, but if, if it happens again, I'll get, I'll come back on. I'm just, I'm sorry. I know this oh, might hurt. I told them, I said, just keep on coming. I don't want to be talking by myself. No, I'm just kidding. Well, You're it's so like, every, I feel like every live I get on, there's some kind of issue. <laughs> this has happened to me too. This oh. is just the nature of what we're going through right now. So I, um, but we're glad to have you back. Okay. So come, you guys, I, I moved on quickly, but I thought we could come back yes. to Okay. This. This and I told them all that you made me blind buy it. I did. I made her blind buy it on the same day that I blind bought it. We basically I literally it texted me. Wait, by the way, how late do you stay up? Because I like Maybe you guys. I, I like midnight most nights. I know. You text me and then I, I literally know. think I bought it at like 11 or I, I don't know. <laughs> I remember she was like, you have to get it with me. I was like, yes. okay. So the reason that I wanted to get this was because because uh, it said vanilla and because it had good reviews and because it was exclusive to Selfridges. And I'm a sucker for marketing. I mean, I'm a consumer at heart. So anytime someone tells me it's exclusive, you can only get it here. I'm like, buy, buy now, order now. So that's what I did. <laughs> I love vanilla scents. This is a strong vanilla. This yep. is not like a gourmand vanilla. This is not like a vanilla extract. This yep. is, oh, I really like it though. I don't even know how to explain it. It's gorgeous. But I have my notes. No, I don't because I added this one at the end. Oh. Um, I think I looked it up on for Grand Scale. Let's see. Yeah, so it has only four things listed as its note. Did you mm -hmm. know that? Usually yeah. think perfumes have like 20 something notes. This has Madagascar vanilla, amber, violet. It has violet in it. I the think why. And patchouli. Oh, this smells so good. Now this is a projector and it's yeah. going to last a long time on the skin. Yep. Tell and your thoughts on it. So when I first smelled it, now I was just telling her before, you know, two things came in, one, came in on the same day, but it had a little bit of a dirty, uh, note in it like it not, not necessarily bad but i felt like on my like skin that it was pulling like a tad bit like she was like she's dousing herself in it <laughs> i'm like oh this stuff is amazing it was like I mean, i've been spraying it all over i was like oh my gosh and i was like there's a like a tiny bit of a dirty it was pulling a little bit of like a dirty patchouli note on me i think but then um, this one is called Royal Royal Vanilla. Yeah, and, and you can only get it at Selfridges. Selfridges, and and yes, and so I was laughing because when she was saying she was spraying it all over, I was like, I don't know if I can be, you know. But then we were saying, I think she likes a little bit of a dirtier patchouli. Like one thing about patchouli, guys, a lot of people tell me, oh, I don't like any patchouli scents because they have that kind of like um hippie patchouli oil kind of yeah. what they think of mm -hmm. and i'm like i i bet you probably have a perfume in your collection that has patchouli in it, patchouli in it. Mm -hmm. um and i remember you guys i had a roommate in college that was you know like she wore that oil like i mean i have a lot of <laughs> memories <laughs> Of the, of the patchouli oil and so i have that and i and so i too used to say oh no i cannot possibly and they were like do you wear cocoa like someone's asking about coco noir that's a beautiful i think the surprising thing about that perfume is that it is very fresh to me like it comes in the black bottle and i think of it as like oh it's going to be this rich dark kind of cocoa um, you know, thick one. And I find Coco Noir to be kind of a freshie, like a very, like it's beautiful scent. Oh, I love that one too, Kelly. <laughs> I have you love that one too, right? I um, have in, I have that in my cart somewhere. <laughs> I have my carts filled at like all these perfume places and Orchid Evening is in my cart somewhere because it's definitely on my list. We both love vanilla. Most definitely. Yes. 
uh, of, as far as a scent. Um, and so, yeah, so good. That's what I was saying about the patchouli. So, yes. so on this, it pulls a little bit of a dirtier patchouli on me. I still think it's a very beautiful kind of, I think it was just making me laugh when she was like dousing or something. I I don't know. Like, don't you just love this stuff? I just put it on again. She's like, oh, I don't know. <laughs> Oh, you know, that's what's so, and, and that's another point to everybody, you guys, that two perfumes, like even if we have, think yeah. we have similar tastes, like your chemistry, it's going to be a lot, everybody can have a little bit of a different um, experience, yeah. but so I'm going to play around with this a bit more. I would definitely, I would, I've worn it. I think it's beautiful, but it did to me have a teeny bit of a little... And when I say dirty, I don't mean it in a negative way, you guys, just more of like, like a little dirt, uh, just, yeah, yeah, a little edgier, yeah, uh, edgier, yeah. yeah. I like okay. the edge, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Did you do. Oh, oh, okay. I was kind of going in real quick about the essence to perfume. Oh, yes, yes. I went down the um, rabbit hole a little bit on this line, and I was talking about 51. And you guys, this is like one of the first places or we want to go or, you know, basically I want to go to London <laughs> um, once we can travel again and take the kids and help like celebrate graduations and stuff. This will be a year, not, not this summer, but um, I spent a summer there uh, going to school and I just have such fond memories. But anyway, so this is based off the 51 Burlington Arcade in London. It's a famous, iconic street. And this is the address 51. So Roja Perfumes, this one, it's described as the epitome of elegance. And I was saying it just is another one that I just have fallen in love with. And I... Um, I've just kind of fallen in love with these essence perfumes because they're a little bit easier to wear if you've experienced of any of the other Roja perfumes. Like their original line can be a little bit overwhelming um, to some. And these are a little bit more wearable. And this reckless, Mandy, you're going to love because you... Because you... Have a book. Okay. So you guys, this one, if you like Killian, love, don't be shy. Yes. That's um, what I, uh, I know that, but I think you're going to get that one at the I sale. am getting that at the Sephora sale, yes. Okay. And I'm not going to be talking about a ton of designer perfumes today because I am going to be doing a Sephora sale wish list. And y'all, my cart has like. She, her cart is insane, you guys. Her cart like is crazy. I was like, well, I don't I'm glad to narrow it down. She's always way ahead of me. She's like, did you do your cart yet? I'm like, I'm way behind. But okay, if you do right. love. Killian, but it might be a tad bit sweet for you. Like if that, this is going to be something to check out. It's like, has that beautiful honey note in it. Um, and it's just one, again, this, I fell in love with that one. Um, the creation E, but um, the ones I've been reaching for the most has been this 51. And I just um, find it to be, let me see, velvety smooth. Let me get my notes out, you guys. <laughs> Um, I want to give you a little bit of a, it has a little bit of a raspberry note in here. It has floral. Um, it's got some sensual kind of vanilla in it that I like. It's got lily of the valley. And then it's got that cedar and that ambrette. And I think that we both are really like those kind of woody florals or I, I'm very attracted to those. And so this does have a bit of powderiness to it, um, but not in a sickening way. I find that it's got that, there's something that's a little bit light and um, just, it just kind of has a little bubble around you that is going to give you such a really um, nice feel. And <laughs> I just have been loving it. Okay, so I just wanted to mention that line because um, those are really nice. And I have the whole sampler set, you guys, I'm going to do a video on those. But I literally there isn't like one that I don't like. Um, like we I was kind of surprised there's usually a fragrance and I'm going to be like, you know, like not for me. Um, and of course, there's you know some I don't need a full bottle of but I definitely have to say those were that's a um, I was excited about it. <laughs> And you need reckless. Reckless my list. If you don't get love, you need reckless. Okay. I think that I only have one more that I'm really loving. And this one is like 
it's the epitome of powdery scent. So if you don't like powdery, just like <laughs> go get a drink or something like <laughs> a little snack. But this is Ooh. the Guerlain. I don't know how you pronounce this. Look how pretty the bottle it's is. So pretty. I love these bottles. On Ensolence. Ensolence. Uh, Insolence. Y'all. I'm from Nashville, not France. But it's a really pretty bottle. And this, and I've talked about it before, but if you missed it, is the exact scent of Guerlain Meteorites. Oh, my so God. If you like the Guerlain Meteorites, if you love the way that smells, that makeup-y powder smell, but this is not lipstick on makeup-y. Lipstick on brings me back to like sitting and watching my grandma get ready and like kind of that scent, yeah. like that's the memory that lipstick on um, invokes for me. This one invokes the memory of opening my meteorites to buff out my makeup. Like this is, so it smells just like it. I don't know what else to <clears throat> excuse me, say. If you've smelled that, you know what that smells like. If you haven't, it's a very violet, iris powdery perfume yeah. um you're probably sensing a little bit of a like what's the word i'm trying to think theme going on here <laughs> I really like that, but i can't stop sniffing it this i like to wear to bed and that was um, the one you've been that's another one she was like i'm spraying it all yeah. over. Okay, so it's, an, uh, it's an eau de toilette so it's a little bit like they have an eau de parfum and they have an eau de toilette now i haven't smelled the perfume but from the um, the recommendation or the reviews that I have read, the eau de toilette is better. So, and I've even heard that the lasting power is better, which is doesn't really make sense. But um, so that's why I decided to go with this one, and it it just smells just like it. So I do I love to wear it during the day, but I will just douse myself, and I do take showers at night. So someone said, I bet that's beautiful to wear to bed or right after. Yeah hour and it is Ronnie like I will douse myself on it I'll spray my sheets with this I'll spray my pillow with it like I love it I'm I'm almost really surprised the dent isn't bigger in this but if you like those kind of scents then that's the one for you <laughs> love it um okay I'm getting there's a couple questions I'm thinking about someone's asking about a musk or it's not I'm not sure it's a vanilla musk but I want to point out another brand um, this is Veronique Goodbye. Um, and this one is called La Pointe G. <laughs> and, but it is a really soft, beautiful white musk. It's got a touch of vanilla. And um, you guys, I've kind of fallen in love with this line. They have a really great thing where you can buy a sample set and then they'll pay you. Like if you want to buy a bottle, then they will put it towards a full bottle. Um, and then there is the Noir de May. So this is a black rose scent. And if I put them together, it's just like, whoa, um, <laughs> such a good one. But I just, I kind of wanted to highlight this brand because it is really pretty. And they've got a bunch of kind of, they're kind of based off her growing up in the Mediterranean um, and so they've got like, if we're thinking about summer scents, when I first got the sample set, um, I don't know where it is, but when I first got it, I was like, it was kind of deeper in the winter and I wasn't quite ready for those kind of summery scents. And I would say definitely if you're looking for those kind of based on think of beach and water and nature, all of that. And she's got different things. You can totally wear them year round. But I just have to say, just so pretty. And this soft white musk here, this La Point G is just like when you were saying wearing coming out of the shower kind of or in bathing at night and what you would want to wear like this is comfort in a bottle. It's so soft. It's got a little bit of sensuality to it, but it's not going to be um too strong or anything like like I think of wearing white uh like a white sundress or you know getting like white cotton sheets like those kind of things and so I just I think it's really awesome so I just wanted to highlight this brand because again I think you might like it man uh, I'm sure I will okay I have I have a couple of um yeah. one question from Sean Queen says um have any suggestions for a walk through the SoCal orange groves on a rainy day? I personally do have a suggestion for that. Mm. And it is also within the Guerlain Aqua Allegoria line, Ooh. which is their, 
and I I'm, I could go up and get it, but I'll just I'll try to link it because if I get up, Zeus will have a come apart. But it is um, similar to this bottle, but they're actually they're not frosted. It's just a glass, and then it's got like a gold ring around. But it's called Orange Solea, and Ooh. it smells exactly like you're opening up a fresh orange. Like oh, it is, um, emo, I don't, I've never smelled anything else like it. I don't have any, I'm not huge on overly citrus scents. Me um, when they have like multiple citrus notes and like, that's all you smell. But this is a very linear perfume. Like I don't get much more out of it other than orange, but I am okay with that sometimes. Like I, sometimes I don't want all the complexity that you can get with other perfumes. And it is gorgeous for the summer. It is so gorgeous. So if you want an orange, just like, again, like you're opening, which I can imagine walking through an orange grove would smell like, oh, I yeah. highly suggest that. <clears throat> I love it. Okay. Are we on to, are you probably still on your loves? I think <laughs> I'm going to start on my wish list. Yeah, go for it. I have four perfumes that are on my wish list and I've got to pull it up on because I took pictures. Okay. The first one is by a line by Victoria Minya. Do you have any Victoria Minya perfumes? No, oh, it's on my list. So when, okay. you, when you okay. had that, I laughed, I was like, yes, because um, you this know, is it right here. Obviously, I can't show you the bottle, but um, this is called Hedonist. Which, what a name. Yeah. I mean, that's not why I picked it. Just just so we know. But <laughs> the, I love the, like, if you can see, there's actual crystals on the bottom. So, so pretty. Yes, it's a gorgeous. I've seen it in videos. It's absolutely gorgeous. But this is, um, has peach, rum, and bergamot in the opening, which I am not a huge fan of peach, but I feel like when it's in the opening of perfumes, I enjoy it because it's not super long lasting, yeah. um, but it's it works well. It's a note that works well with other notes, I feel like. Um, then you have osmanthus, tobacco, which is one of my favorite notes, jasmine and orange blossom in the middle, vanilla, cedar, and vetiver on the dry down. Now I have not tried this. This is a blind by want. Um, yeah. Yeah. A couple of these I have tried in samples that I'm going to talk about, but this one I have not tried. I want this solely based on reviews and the notes. And I want it now too. Yes. <laughs> and, the, and the pyramid on Fragrantica is like fruity, sweet, white floral, rum. I love rum, woody, vanilla, tobacco, powdery, and citrus. I'm like, yes, 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 and yes. Like, check, check, check. <laughs> So that is high on my list. And that is, I'm sure you can get it other places, but I know it's available on Lucky Scent. I love it. Love it. Um, okay, really quick. I'm just going to say I'm having a bit of a creed moment. And we're talking about, um, people have been asking about spring and summer kind of scents. And um, the Aqua Fiorentina, you guys, there's just something about, the Creed fragrances has a certain DNA in it. And to me, I find that to be sort of fresh, like a little bit of, mm -hmm. there's a certain um, way when I wear Creed that it makes me feel there's like a certain DNA in there. And I get that they're expensive and they are, you may not be the longest lasting for some of them, um, but they always sort of come back to them. I think it has sort of a, um, like my grandfather wore Creed, like it has sort of one of these um, memory invoking memory invoking. And like when I smell men wearing Aventus and <laughs> these kind of things, there's just like, I, it just brings back that. And so um, unfortunately my daughter has fallen in love with um, this, <laughs> this as well. But this one it, to me has, it's just spring. Look at the little cute bottle here. It is spring in a bottle. Um, it's got a little touch of apple in it, like a green apple, which normally again, wouldn't, I wouldn't really think of myself as a fruity floral in here, but it's got creamy sandalwood as a base. And I think that that's what kind of grounds it and not, doesn't make it quite like sort of such a young, like I probably would kind of categorize this as more of a young fragrance. I mean, anybody can wear it, but 
I think that that creamy sandalwood just kind of brings it all together. And then I've got a little baby love and white. And you guys, this is just such a beautiful fragrance. And I think of this as sort of like, if you're getting married, um, this is a beautiful bridal scent. Like this could be signature scent worthy. But again, this is sort of like as we're shifting here in Portland, you guys, Portland has been just you know, we get a lot of rain, but once the sun shines, it is just spectacular. Everything is blooming. It Like yesterday, um, Lisa, if Lisa's still on here, uh, most gorgeous day ever, 63, just walking out. Everything's blooming and it's just green and lush. Um, and you want something that's going to kind of have that kind of feeling as well. This love and white is just such a beautiful um is it a, does it have green in it? Is it like a, like how much it's, green? Because I'm not a fan of too much green. But no, it's no, I don't think you'll like this one because it's got Tonka and it's okay. got rice note in here. This Ooh, is going to be, rice note. okay. So this one has, it's got, so this one isn't going to be, this one's going to be more of your greeny, the aqua one. Mm -hmm. Um, but this one is going to be, it has a little bit of daffodils. I was wondering if maybe I haven't really smelled. I don't know that I've smelled daffodil in a perfume. No. Um, and then this has vanilla. <laughs> and, yeah. Okay. So I think that vanilla, it has ambergris in it. And then I think that it makes it kind of unique. There's this rice note or rice husk or something in there that brings a little bit of warmth to this. Um, and, um, uh, and it has iris. Oh, I meant to tell you. Oh, well then, no, what you got to say? I, I, <laughs> this, one, this one, iris, and I don't, you guys, it's just such a little, like, this is so pretty. And you guys, yes, we're going to have all yeah. of the perfumes, um, listed below. Like I've got them all, we've got links and all of this good stuff. Um, so, oh good. And you guys, yes, Oswald in New York city. Um, my good friend who works there, but also Randy, hi. They're having 20% off. Smell the flowers. Yes. Okay. So Wood Jasmine will be purchased right after we get off this live. Yes. We, <laughs> hey, I was wondering, I don't know if that was on there because- Is it not on there? Maybe it is. Maybe it is. Um, and I love that bouquet de Angri as well. Like that's another one from BDK. It comes in a pink bottle. It's so pretty. Um but yes, you guys, I will have, everything should be in the description box. I don't know if you guys can see it right now, but it is in there. And um, it will be in mine. You may only be, someone's saying they can only see Abby's, but after the well, live, if you it scroll will be down, If you scroll down, Mandy's is in there. I put it all, <laughs> it should all be on there. Um, I put it on both of ours. So okay, yeah. good. Um, and Randy, they do sell Creed. They don't sell the women's line. They sell um, some of the men's. They just got Creed in there. But I also love that Melon. Mel uh, I'm going to say it wrong. But anyways, so I'm having a bit of a Creed moment because I just think that there is something classic about it. It's one of the oldest you know, dedicated. I'm a crying, crying child. Hold on just a second. Keep talking about Creed. Okay. So let me see if there's anything. Um, okay, you guys, let me think of, oh, last thing we were going to, and thank you, Christine, this is from Anthropology. It's, you can still get it, that's hot. Um, okay, we were, someone was asking me about the Maison Dior line. Is she okay, hon? Yeah, she's all right. Okay, because we don't want to, um, I was going to mention this one. Well, guess what? It has iris in it. <laughs> that one, man, that, one that, that could go into our next, my next um, wish list because it's one that's on yours too. Okay, so yeah, this is. I wanted to bring this up because it's into. So, um, I really love Maison Christian Dior. You guys, this has been long time um, love of mine. The just the brand. So. Um, the Bois d'Argent, I wanted to mention this because this is a repeat purchase. I've got tons I I got of samples. Yeah, I thought you got a sample. Um, but this one to me is an everyday, easy mm -hmm. wear, easy to wear scent. It is going to be softer, but this is when you just want to, like when I say everyday scent, I just want to smell good. I find it to have this vanilla honey powder but not overly powdery no but say. i can smell that the honey yeah 
I call it like honey powder. It's so good. It just, I just love, it makes me feel yummy. Um, but no, it's not going to be like a super strong. This is going to be a soft. Okay. soft. Kind of, yeah. Mm -hmm. And that's what I would say. Some of, the, some of those I would say like this, this one is going to be softer. So for those of you who like those kind of scents, definitely check this out. And then we were both wanting to, they just launched a brand new one. That's both on our wish list. Yeah, this is on our wish list, guys. So if any of you have smelled this, to, how do we, how do we say the, it? Tobacco color, tobacco yeah. color. Um, I wrote down the, um, yeah. So it's, it's sweet, honey, tobacco, fruity, smoky. It's got honey, tobacco, smoke, white tobacco, which I don't really know the difference in that. Uh, plum, oriental notes, peach, amber, and citrus. Yeah. And yeah, oh yeah, that Van Cleef, that is very similar. That's so true. And I wondered which one. So yeah, we are both, I, I got to order that because you guys are very intrigued by the marketing, but I'm sort of like, it does, it seems more of a fall kind of scent to me for some reason. Like I, it's the, so soft. I feel like you could get away with wearing it. Like, yeah. Yeah. Never oh, you want to I meant the one that. Oh, this is that color. I'm oh, sorry, I'm not. Oh, well, that doesn't that seem like it's for it some. Does, but those notes sound so right up my alley that I would I would totally wear it all year round. Yeah, and that's again, I think that's what I agree. Like I don't have day and nighttime fragrances. I do try to describe them if there's like a stronger scent. But you guys, you can rock anything you want. <laughs> You can, it's not, there's no rules. And I think that's like the fun of fragrance is that um, like we were laughing because you have like the go, you know, how many perfumes do you put on now, Mandy, during the day? Because she's always like, well, <laughs> well, three to four now, but honestly, it also depends on what I start my day off with. If I'm in a mood to wear three different fragrances, I make sure I don't pick out something like the Mancera, because this one is going to last me eight to 10 hours. And I'm, and I'm going to be doing a disservice to anything I put on top of it. Cause it's not, they're just going to blend together. It's not going to smell the same. Um, but if I want to wear, if I know I'm going to be like, okay, by lunchtime, I'm going to want something different. Then I will put something on that maybe doesn't have as long of a lasting power. And then again, I shower at night. So after I get out of the shower, I always spray something on then too. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's, Become a sickness, y'all. <laughs> I'm so glad that she's joined me in this sickness because I've had it for a very long time. <laughs> so she made me laugh when she was like, oh, no, Abby. I was like, oh, good. <laughs> she's like, oh, I brought her over to the dark side. <laughs> I was like, I don't have to be alone. Like, I know Randy. Um, we were laughing. Uh, so Randy is another frag head. I also have like a really good friend, but we were laughing because we call him the COVID collection as to like, I leaned very heavily mm -hmm. on fragrance. Um, I, I always, you guys, I've been, this has been a passion for a long time, but you know, yes. Did we like during COVID, it, like a way to escape um, and the fun of like, Ooh, I'm going to order this. Well, that, and it's like, we weren't wearing a ton of makeup. You know, it wasn't something, and fragrance is something you can wear regardless of whether you have a mask on. It's not going to yeah. affect anything, you know, it, and it, for a lot of people, makes you happier than makeup does. You know, I mean, there's people now, makeup makes me happy. So, me makeup makes me happy. But I like it all, guys. I like makeup. Yeah. <laughs> but I feel like maybe the reason that so many people, hey, hey. <laughs> maybe some of the reasons that so many people, really was drawn to it during COVID was because it's something you can do for yourself. You don't have to leave the house to, to benefit from fragrance. You can, you know, you it's it, there's just something really special. And yes, you can Kelly, you can transform, transport, transport yourself, bring back memories. The memories. Like, yes. I well, I was trying to think of when I got the sickness and I literally always go back to like my grandma. Like mm -hmm. I was a, I always tell people, but she was like um, a little bit like she made a grand entrance. She was someone who was always dressed to the nines. Like mm -hmm. you would never go out of the house. Like she I had one of my grandmas was like that. Yeah, yeah. like you know she and you guys. She was unapologetic. Like mm -hmm. she wore strong perfume, the mink coats. Like 
walked in with her little and so she but also she was kind of um like my mom was warm and you know kind of easy approachable and the grandma that she grew up with was very like you know probably like she was very blunt like you know she would have little pixie haircuts and she was like you guys look like boys or you know I you know, sort of like knock you right down. But again, it was so funny because I always just remember hugging her mm -hmm. and what she was wearing. And I think it goes back to like, ooh, um, you know, and then I had two, I have two other sisters, and we all were, you know, there was a lot wow. of fragrance and my mom. <laughs> yes. Oh, okay. So Randy, my mom is a Shalimar, Shalimar wearer. That is her signature scent. So I grew up smelling nothing but Shalimar and being like, oh my, and like once I was old enough to realize how much stuff cost, I remember I asked her one time how much a bottle of Shalimar cost and she told me and I'm like, what? Like who spends that much on a perfume? And like, I just distinctly remember that. But then I was also like, whenever she ran out, I'm like, when are you getting more? Because it's like, I wanted I wanted my mom to smell like my mom, you know, and that's and that's how she smelled. And I was listening to a, <clears throat> a podcast. I think it was called Smell You Later. And they were talking about how a doctor explained to them that the olfactory nerve, like for our smell, um, our sense of smell is the one closest linked to our memory part of our brain. Mm -hmm. and that's why sense can invoke, invoke so much memory. Um, which I just think is fascinating. Like stuff like that just fascinates me. me too. Uh, so yeah, I love it. I love this, the Charlie. I remember Charlie. Okay, I my first Charlie. bottle was Jeanette. Do y'all remember Jeanette? Jeanette? Yes. <laughs> and I thought I was highfalutin. I'm like, yeah, y'all don't mess with my Jeanette. <laughs> what about the Anae Anae or that? Do you guys remember that one? Mm. Um, remember that? I remember Baby Saw. Oh yeah, baby soft, <laughs> lucky striped cigarettes. And then my, one person said, "Did your grandma wear joy?" And I was like, "Oh yeah, honey, she wore joy." That's what See, <laughs> my grandma. That was the one that wouldn't leave like the house without full hair and makeup, and always wore a pantsuit. Like she was like the the matching pantsuit. She was Red Door. Oh, her, that, was her, that was her signature scent. Uh, well, then, then I also grew up with a lot of Chanel. Like my, you mm -hmm. know. Where so I wore a lot of Chanel growing yeah, up. Chanel. Um, <laughs> did you hear? Did you see her face? She was like, "Oh, Chanel!" Huh? Like <laughs> I transformed my children into these uh, junkies. You guys, I do. I, I can't help but I want to share one story. I remember when I came back to for like a Christmas holiday, and I had gotten this um, Chanel cocoa, the original, but it had like a powder puff and the body lotion and the cocoa. Yeah. And you guys, we were going, I still laugh about this because I was getting together ready with my sisters and I had put on all the body lotion and I got the puff and I was powdering all down, squirting on. And you know, that's like, I just now still to this day laugh because I'm sure that the trail was just- The whole neighborhood smelled you. <laughs> my sister was like, you're like a piece of chicken buttering and brining yourself. And it was just like, so I mean, some of those, because I also remember obsession- Mm -hmm. Knowing, like I don't know. Anyways, Paloma, Picasso, all of those ones. I just yeah. laugh at now. I was like, whoo! Um, so but many, so many memories, and I love it. <laughs> love, love, and I want. I think another reason that I love getting into it is because I want my girls to like remember that. I want them to be on a live thirty years from now saying, "My mom." Well, I can't tell you what my mom wore because she wore four different things every day, but she always smelled good. <laughs> yep. Yep. <laughs> I think that's the fun. And um, and Zoe has totally, my daughter has such a good nose. So that's like why I'm worried about her leaving because she has like such a good nose that I'm like, oh, um, you know, she'll be like, yes, no. Like she'll, she has where you can, you know, she'll pick up on notes and stuff, but that's okay. Cause I'll just go to LA and visit her. And then we'll all, you guys, when this you is one thing, thing to Nashville. That bar. Oh God, I'm coming to Nashville. I know we didn't get her there. She yeah. might have come if we could have visited. I know, I kept waiting for you to tell me she was coming. 
I know that was on our list, but okay. One, we do, I am going to come to Nashville. We're going to do like, instead of a live like this, I'm going to be in Mandy's kitchen with her. We can even do like some healthy cooking. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. <laughs> perfume dousing and <laughs> we'll do it all. Um, yes. Oh my goodness. Oh, Jessica McClintock. I wore that forever. You guys, and this is making me laugh. I love that. Oh, <laughs> And Emmett does, yeah. My son Emmett has a very good nose. And then you guys, I do have to say, he's such a trooper because I before COVID, I would literally make him go <laughs> to like scent bar into other places and have him go smell perfume that I couldn't find here. And he would do it. Like he's that's so awesome. I mean, that's so nice. Um Okay. Oh, I do love dip teak. I okay? have never tried dip teak. Oh, are you okay? Okay. She just stepped on a dog bone. I have um, never um, tried dip teak. We can get you oh, into so, that. Yeah. <laughs> um, let me think of one that I just got that they're discontinuing. Oh, is this homage? Um, and we can get into this another time, but you guys, I believe that they are discontinuing the little cracked yeah, I love that bottle. pre bay line. Um, but this is an interesting kind of fresh kind of fragrance with a little bit of, I believe it's either coriander or cumin in it. So it's kind of got that little note in there that's got a little bit of an edge. But Diptyque has the most beautiful, like I got into them from Candles but their body products, like I love gifting people. Dip tea. Hey, I'll give you a gift of dip teak, Mandy. I'll, nice. send you, I'll send you your first. Um, you guys, this one is the best for your house. So if you want your house to smell amazing, what is that? this is Fleur de Peau. So when you're talking about when you get out of the shower, yeah. Um, I have the body butter to this, but this, if you spray this in your bedroom, it's like comfort like just your whole house will smell amazing. Like I am always a little bit sensitive. I don't have people into the house right now, but I have two dogs and I don't want to be that dog house. If you know, I know me. that's yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and I work from home and have clients come, you know, pre COVID to my home. Um, so I would always want to have spray something or light candles or something to make sure that I don't have like, there's nothing wrong, you guys. I'm a total dog lover, but we all know we love our dogs, but maybe other people don't, and they don't want to smell like dog. Well, um, we I think we get used to the smell, and we yeah. smell what other people can smell. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But this one is just comfort in a bottle. Fleur de Peau, and you know, if you like a soft musk clean, Mandy, I kind of think you, I'm not sure. I don't know how you feel about musk. I do like musk. If it's, if it's got something else to counteract like a vanilla or you know it's got a little else. like i don't want straight only musk but i do okay. um i do like it as a note and ronnie said diptyque doson yeah that one is a pretty floral that's a good i'm gonna write that down too <laughs> <laughs> no problem. See, Abby has all these, and I'm adding them all to my collection. So I'm the one over here. Like every time I'm like, I think I want to buy something, I text her. And he's like, "Oh yeah, I have it." <laughs> of course you do. I want. You, that's why I was like, "Buy the Mancera because you don't have it, and I want you to buy something with me." <laughs> um, you guys, she's so cute. But I'm well. I, okay, just I'm a little bit older, and I've been doing it for just a little bit longer. So you guys, I'm always happy to be able to like, if anybody has questions, I can, you know, it's my own opinion, but yes. So there, <laughs> since then, so, the, but I love having that. I'm always like, Ooh, good. Tell me. I always love to talk about fragrance. Um, as you can tell. Yes. Um, okay. I wanted to show the next one on my wish yes. list. If anybody else has smelled it. Um, this is from Aaron. Um, a E R I N. I believe this is the Estee Lauder's more like prestige line. And this is hibiscus palm. I want to know about that line too. I, I do. I've never tried any from Erin, but hibiscus palm sounds like a good summer scent. And I know a lot of people, um, Ode Wet Mastiff. Yeah, I know all about the Ode Wet Mastiff. Um, <laughs> let's see. Hibiscus palm is hibiscus ylang ylang, which I love. I love yeah, I do too. Of Ylang Ylang. 
palm leaf, lotus, ginger, frangipani, and then the base, the dry down is coconut milk, vanilla, and musk. So again, I like the musk when it's like mixed in with the coconut or the vanilla or something like that. I really like it. So the notes just sound really good. It's got really good reviews. So if anybody has tried um, Aaron fragrances in general or and have a favorite or the hibiscus palm specifically, I would love to know. <clears throat> and there was another one we want to, oh, you have a sample, the Hermes. Oh, um, yes. There's this Jardin. Well, there's the one you, the Amber. The uh, Amber Nargali is the one that I have. Where are you? They don't last long, she says. So the Aaron fragrance. Oh, that's not good. Um, but you, you know. Um, and then also, they're getting a question about most complimented. I do have one. That I, I have one. Yes. Okay, you tell yours while I'm trying to find this. Uh... Um, hold on one minute. My computer's being, okay. You guys can still see me. <laughs> um, okay. Mine is Velvet Haze by Byredo. You guys, that is one um, I just fell in love with. Like I literally, it was a new launch at the time. It's old now, but I um, smelled it and had to get it right there in the shop. Like it was one of those kind of instant. And anytime I wear that one, um, I, I'm a hugger in pre COVID. <laughs> I was a believer in the power of touch. Um, and so I would meet people and give them a hug and I would be like, Oh my gosh, you smell so good. There's like a little bit of cleanness to it. It's also a little bit warm. So it's kind of an interesting, cause I don't, at some point as I was aging, um, some of the freshy scents and some of the florals just kind of like turned on me um and I could not um like uh, some of the ones I would love I'm like I can't wear them anymore I like wore fracas and um a lot of those heady tuberos like those are way too much for me now um but velvet haze that description is it it's like putting on a beautiful cashmere sweater it is warm and comforting but it's got a little bit of freshness and it is just that is my compliment getter anytime I wear that one Mine would have to be, it's kind of cheating because it's it's two that I like to put together. <laughs> Someone else a cheater. I layer these two um, and I feel like when I layer them versus wearing them separately, I get the most compliments. And it, they're both from Tom Ford and it's the tobacco vanille and the um, lost cherry. Yeah. And when I mix those two together. Mm -hmm. I can't even explain it. I love the the sweetness of the lost cherry <clears throat> and the kind of tartness mixed in with that super tobacco because I, I love the tobacco scent um, note anyways. There's just something about that and I always get compliments on that. I love that. that those are Someone's asking about Balda Freak because I was telling Mandy about. So you guys, this was like my very, the not this bottle. This is a repeat purchase, but this was my very first like niche perfume I bought from Byredo, Balda Freak. And I still love this so much. I recently bought like another, um, you know, another one. Again, this has this, this is a good, this is going to get you compliments. And this is one that is fantastic to layer. Like I have the shower gel. Um, I have like the body butter. Like I love this brand too, because it kind of like diptyque once you're really into fragrances and then you want to layer it all. <laughs> they have all of the line of the, <laughs> you can get the full experience, but someone was saying, yeah, I love Fall de Freak is a um, repeat purchase again, and I think it's just a beautiful woody kind of floral. I, Mandy, have you smelled this one? I have. It's been a while, but I have. Yeah. Yeah, because it's kind of one. But anyway, so Velvet Haze, Fall de Freak. Yeah. Okay. We're just. We're and like, we both oh. have the Hermes Amber Nargile or how are you? It's on my list. I would say we just call it the amber one. Like all these scents are so hard for me. This one, oh, this one is really, this one is a complex one to me. I'm not, I don't have, I mean, I feel like I'm starting to have a good nose, but there's some fragrances where it can say it has like 20 notes in it. And I'm like, I smell two things, maybe yeah. three. There's some where I only smell one. 
This one, I smell so many of the notes that it has listed. And I think the ones that come out the most are the honey and the cinnamon. Mm. Yum. It, it's a very warm scent and it smells so good. It's, it's like a, I don't know how it's, syrupy honey not but not like cough syrupy it's like how do i don't know how to explain it but that yeah the cinnamon yeah it has a lot of cinnamon i am definitely getting the cinnamon but i get that rum and that honey the there's caramel in it there's Yum. also sesame which i have never had or tried another fragrance that had sesame listed as a note but um, I totally i love sesame i love the smell of them you know i love the smell of crushed sesames i love tahini i love yeah, I can, it's, I, I can smell all of it. Um, and it very, very, very pretty. Now I did not get the longest lasting power out of this one. Okay. Um, not as much as I did the Guerlain Gourmand Coquin that I actually ordered the full size of. That one lasted on me throughout and it, I wore it to the wedding I worked yesterday and it lasted all day. Um, but yeah, it's, this is, some would say it's a nighttime fragrance. But we would say <laughs> all day, every day. I don't care. I mean, it might be a little cloying and like the intense heat, but I don't even care. You love it. That that's on my list. So that's definitely um, on my list. I'm getting um, Noah wants me to describe Ball the Freak real quick. Um, so I would call this a warm, woody floral. It's got notes, it has marigold in it. So it's kind of a unique floral um, bergamot. And then it's got a little layer of violet. But in the base, I would call this, it's got cedar wood and vetiver. So it's definitely woody. Um, and it's got, it's fresh and floral. It's, I find it to be a really easy one, easy everyday kind of, it makes me feel clean, but I love that little bit. I'm not, again, the freshies, I like them, but they can make me sick. This has warmth to it with the wood. So I'm someone who's very attracted to those woody kind of florals, which have a little bit warmer base, but there is lightness in this from probably the bergamot gives a nice little freshness. So someone's asking if it's similar to Dolce & Gabbana light blue, which I would be interested to know too, because I think I'm maybe the only one on the planet that does not like light blue. <laughs> Wait, what is the one? There's a fragrance that I have. Everybody tells me that, um, gosh, I'm forgetting it. Um, there's something I have and they're just like, it's smell. It's the dupe to light, light and blue. And I was like, I think I might be one, someone who hasn't smelled it either. Um, that I, <laughs> that I, smell it. I just don't like it. I don't know why. Um, yeah, I don't know which one uh, it's facing on me, but um, yes. Um, good. Okay, good. I'm glad. You guys, are, wait, did we cover all of our wish lists? Like, basically, they have a ton of wish lists. We go back and forth. Yeah, no, I mean, I think I covered all of mine. I mean, oh, 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 I know one that I'm curious about. So, you guys, I love the um, Maison Francis Kirk John. I love that. It's been a long time. I've got several of them, but there's one that's a spring one and it's Amrus. And I've almost bought it a couple different times and I can't decide on this, but they have a new x version. And I was curious, this is definitely powdery um, and it's going to be, it's a spring. Uh, someone had just recommended it to me. It's a spring kind of fragrance. It's got lemon blossom, vetiver, musky, um, and it's a woody floral. And so I was kind of like between the Hermes and I'm kind of in that, I felt like this might be similar, but if anybody has tried this Amrus, um, I don't know, people have recommended to me a couple different times. I want the, um, the gentle fluidity gold. Oh my God, I love that one. That oh, one, my yes. and you guys, this one, oof, yummy. <laughs> Um, and honestly, I have I have countless samples of the 540 and I like it. But I think that I think what's happened is that because everybody talks about it now, I don't yeah. like it as much for some the, reason. I and, don't know why. And I like the gold, Ronnie. I like the gold fluidity because the mm -hmm. silver is more man in it. More, more oh, man. Silver, this is a bad, well, not a bad story, but I may have 
I, I went to college in New Orleans. So just know, as you can imagine, some drinking happened down there. <laughs> mm. <laughs> One of the worst hangovers I ever had was from gin. And no, I can't it smelled smell like gentle fluidity silver. You guys, it's juniper. Like it has, it just smelled like gin to me. Like it smelled like a cocktail. And I think some people will like it. It's a little bit drier. Um, but oh my gosh, I literally was like, oh, that memory of the gin and tonic. I was trying to be all fancy. No, <laughs> the gin and tonic. Oh, but I'm sure it was the cheapest gin you I can't have. handle gin. I just want oh. like the smell of it or, or oh, it's so horrible. Or but when I did try, they really recommend doing um, the silver and the gold mm -hmm. and them together. That makes a fabulous, like I actually could um, wear that, but I wouldn't have bought the silver alones too much. Oh, good. Someone has their, it is, it smells very elegant. Like this, this um, Amaris um, is smelling very like elegant spring. I don't know. So that's where... I'm kind of on the Hermes or this for next. So Rory is saying that she likes Joe Malone, London Midnight Musk and Amber. Yes. So I'm I'm wondering, has anybody smelled any of the new Joe Malones? Because oh, the Frangie I don't know about those two. Yeah, the Frangie Panty is kind of on my wish list, but I'm I'm very um I'm very eager to see if anybody smelled them. I have not had the best experience with longevity with Joe Malone. Um, so I'm, I'm curious about the frangipani. So if anybody's tried those, cause it's on my list. I just have to mention that somebody very special sent this to me and I love it. So this is the midnight musk and Amber, and it may have been Lori who sent it to me, but yes, I love this one. And mm. <laughs> so, um, I, you guys, I was wondering about those new Joe Malone. Cause of course I'm attracted to the caps and the thing, but I, Danielle says she likes the poppy. And I love the, um, I still love the basil neroli. Like I've worn tons of um, Joe Malone, but I think it's kind of like a, they don't last the longest. And so I still love them. <laughs> I mean, I, I care, but um, I think that, you know, they, there's a, I mean, I can, it's good for, like I said, when I have those days where I know I'm going to be wanting to, to, to spray on more than one. Yes. Um, but, you know, on the days where I'm going somewhere, I like to choose something that I know is going to last. No, wait, oh. did you get, I got Angel Share. Did you get that? I did not because you told me it smelled a lot like um, oh. uh, by the fireplace. Oh, right? yeah. And it's smelled... and changing constants. And I got, I got a sample of changing constants and I felt like that smelled a lot like by the fireplace. Yep, I remember. But yes, that's a good boozy, but it doesn't make me sick. For some reason, it's really more of the gin. I can have, I can have, I, have a the other one. <laughs> I don't even drink you guys now. So <laughs> even the thought of it is like, oh, um, but yes, I'm trying. Does anybody have, did we get all of our um, wish lists? I talked about all mine. I, I just kind of went all mine that I had written down. I um, went for like four hours. Um, I don't think wait was there. Uh, does anybody? Uh, you guys, I'm just looking through. No, I, that's the problem. I think I just when I have a problem. Hello, you guys from rainy Scotland. Um, oh, Frederick Mall. Yes, I I've had some in the past. I used to be a. Um, I'm calling it carnal flowers. Is that what it's called? Yeah. Um, you guys, that's what I was saying. I was in the, and I had portrait of a lady. So yes, I do like Frederick Mall. I haven't worn them recently. Those have been in the past. Um, but I definitely wore the, um, is it called carnal flowers or am I doing? Anyways, yes. <laughs> the, those are, that's a beautiful line. The Frederick Malls are. Um uh, oh, that okay, you guys. I love the these two. The really quick because they're going to be releasing in April. Demi Rawling is going to be releasing her Minwi at Demi, and people are asking if there is a similarity. And I did do a video on this between. Um, I have a whole video on this launch, 
And I was going to buy this regardless, you guys, because I really love Fragrance Dubois and I love Demi. And this is a beautiful gourmand fragrance. So everything she described, I knew I was going to love it. Does it have similar vibe to Changing Constance? It definitely does. Um, <laughs> but to me, this has this really rich coffee note in it, whereas this one is salted caramel without the coffee. And this one has that, like I think of a caramel macchiato, like you were walking into a bakery and there's coffee in here. And so this one, they definitely have that same vibe um, that they're going to have that gourmand, they're both in a gourmand way. So if you can't get your hands on this one or you don't want to, um, yes, this is gonna have that. And what was the other one people were comparing it to? Did you say? By the fireplace? Well, yeah. I, the changing constants and the, um, what was, it wasn't the the Demi one. What was the other one? Um, oh, you know which one? Loon Feline, which you're gonna get. Oh, Loon Feline. <laughs> Um, so to me, when I smelled this, the Lune Feline by Atelier de Deors, and I'm sorry, yeah. yeah, um, that I had, there was a bit of like a little bit of funkiness to, to like, she smelled it and was like immediately like yum, whereas like a couple, if you read descriptions, some people smell like a little bit of rubberiness, or I called it just a little teeny bit of, I had to get through a little bit of funk in order to get to that most gorgeous dry down ever. Like you smell amazing and you did not smell that at all. When no. you, smelled, you were no, like, I didn't. and so to me, I was like, oop, this is Loon Feline without the, the 30 minute, you know, uniqueness. Well, and I don't think Loon Feline has coffee either. Does it, does it have a coffee no. note? No, I don't think, I don't so. think so. Yeah. so. I think in the coffee in here, I definitely, it's just, it's I love, so I'm going to have to, you, but text me when that if you see that it um and it launched to pitch the re re promote because I know it's gonna go fast so yeah it, it sold out I was lucky because I was on the west coast so I just I could buy it at nine p.m. Mm -hmm. midnight <laughs> I I go to bed early I was like oh I don't want to wake up but this is a like prized little like hey, Mandy you would love this I know thing. that's what I'm yeah, saying I would be spraying it all over you yes. Um, La Labo has great perfumes too. Yes, I yeah. like um, another thirteen from La Labo. I have that one. That's so. Yeah, funny. I have the smaller one of that, but um, and I have the smaller one of Santal thirty three, and I prefer another thirteen. I like them both, but I prefer another thirteen. Mac, Abby has me beat on how many perfumes. Ask her how many. Do you know how many you have? No, I don't want to. <laughs> Sometimes Mandy like asks questions like that, or you guys will be like, Ooh, I want to see all your collection. I'm like, Ooh, I don't know if I want, I'm a little embarrassed. Um, I just go by this. I'm a little bit older, guys. I'm 52, and this has been a long time. <laughs> So I've I I have a collection that has been um building. So I now I have I'm 40, so I have 12 years, and my yeah. goal is to be Abby when I'm 52. And, and, <laughs> and have Abby's perfume collection. <laughs> that's what I was going to say is like, just give me a little bit of credit there as it's been a long time of coming. Um, and I think just from having uh, fellow like sisters and friends that are in this community where we will share and swap and um, those kind of things. Oh, yep. I do love the Privé, Armani Privé fragrances. I've got several that I love. I like the Rouge Malachite in that one. Yeah. Um, yeah, I'm like, uh, oh, yes. And then it was so funny, you guys. So I was a total Kalex girl. And this is one other little, We, I promise I won't keep you guys on here forever. But um, I grew up in Des Moines, Iowa, and we did not, you know, Kalex had launched. And I, my sister went to college in New York City. So we were going um, I was driving with my dad to go visit my sister in New York and the whole way he had to hear about that. The very first thing we were going to do is go get Kalex perfume. <laughs> the whole ride, if you can imagine, and my dad needed a boy, like he needed a son because he was surrounded with girls. 
Um, and the whole way, I just told them all about it. I showed them pictures in the magazine. And so, yes, Kalex was that. Um, Shantika, she she created it. So it was so hilarious. I, I and I wore, oh, you guys, I even bought it. They still sell it. Not not um, at Shantikai, I don't believe. I think it's under um, Clinique now. But I had to buy it for old time's sake. Like I just had to get a bottle because I that was like my scent for so long. And I love prescriptives. That was totally mine. So <laughs> poor. Okay. I could be here all day long talking about stories like that, but we love fragrance. But if there's anything, um, oh gosh, I love the reminiscing too. So Mandy and I will be consulting on which perfumes we're going to, she made me laugh. You guys, she's like, I need a perfume today. I need <laughs> I texted her the other day and I'm like, I'm buying one today and you're buying one with me. And I did buy one and you didn't. So you're behind. <laughs> I was like, she was, um, yeah, Lisa, I can't wear Kalex anymore, but I had to just get the little baby bottle for like just memory sake. Um, but she was so funny. I was like, oh, I feel like I deserve a perfume for today. <laughs> so <laughs> well, now I'm like, I'm going to go on to this. Wood Jasmine's not going to be there because it's what I want, but I'm going to check that New York. Um, oh, I love Oswald. I That's another yeah. one. When I dropped my son off at college, I went on a field trip and I got a perfume there to remember him by. And if she was Josie, there is amazing. Um, they don't have a standalone store anymore. Um, but like, so now when I drop Zoe off, I'm going to Scent Bar and I'm going to go See, get one. And I love this is now I used to get like not perfumes to remember trips by. But now I'm like every time I go. So I'm going to Austin again at the end of April. And I'm already like, OK, where am I going to go buy a perfume? What's it going to be? And I, I have a feeling I'm going to be in Austin like every quarter. So <laughs> I have like four a year <laughs> from Austin. But I can't wait to start going on, um, you know, start traveling in whenever everything starts being that way so that I can start collecting uh, scent memories. Um, and guess what? I'm definitely, we've talked about this before, but we, I am coming to Nashville yes, and we're going to do makeup. She's going to like jazz me up. <laughs> she needs jazzing. <laughs> and then I'll bring, we can just go perfume shopping. I'm like, I'll bring stuff. But oh my goodness. Well, here, I think we need to just drive down to Atlanta, honestly, because Nashville doesn't have the best perfume. Yeah. stuff. So I say you come here. And then we'll drive down to Atlanta for a long day of shopping. Um, yeah, because my husband really wants to do go to Hotlanta. And my sister just moved to Chattanooga. Oh, well, that's, yeah, that's super close to us. It's only two hours away. I know. So anyways, this is all happening, like, really, like, you know, just a few, it'll happen. So you guys, yes, I love Girls Trip. We'll go crazy. Yes. I do damage. <laughs> I do a lot of damage when I get with my girlfriends who care about beauty. I have my other girlfriends who don't, and it's like good for my wallet, but the ones that do, I'm like, mm -hmm. Mandy is horrible for my, is that how we became friends? Like the most is we were kindred spirits of, but she's the enabler guys. I'm just saying, you think it's me, she's bad. <laughs> oh, I'm saying, I think we bonded over. Some sort of I don't remember um, what it was because it's been a while now. Um it's been a like long time. Yeah, at least two years. But it was yeah. something over feeling guilty about I don't know. Anyways, I just knew it was a good thing when she said we're gonna switch over from IG to text because we couldn't get enough yeah. information with pictures because <laughs> they would disappear and I'd be like, wait, I only got to see a <laughs> one. Um, and then ever since then, it's been a long time, but we <laughs> it's oh. been a oh sorry, Christina. Mm -hmm. I hope you're still on here. She said that the Mets Apothecary has an amazing collection of independent scents. Tell me oh. about the house of kerosene. Yeah, I want the nine winter of ninety-nine and the unspoken, what's it called? Abby, I told you what it was. Un unknown pleasures. That was the one. Yes, those two. So if anybody has smelled those, those are definitely on my wish list too. Sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt you, Abby, but I saw her see, say Carrie. I was like, because you, you were just talking about, that's what I'm saying is, um, oh, oh, the Louboutin ones. Uh, real quick, 
And then you guys, we got to let, <laughs> um, okay. Hold on just a minute. These two, the little, um, Christian Louboutin, um, as far as longevity, the, there's one that smells kind of like my favorite bois and that is the Louis Rouge. And that is this one with the little shoe on top. Um, but it's a little bit spicier. So, you know what I mean? It's not exact. But as far as lasting power, the Luby Rouge, is it going to be similar to Bois d'Argent, which is meant to be, it's a softer fragrance. It isn't going to project out. So you're probably going to be disappointed with the lasting power. You're still going to smell good. Um, and I get little wafts, but it isn't going to be... Um, you know, I can still sell, smell myself by the end of the day, but it's going to be a softer fragrance. Whereas the Luby Raj, and this one is described as having a leather note in it, and leather does not always, um, I, I can't always, leather's a tricky note for me. This is more of a little bit of a um, smoky leather. It, it works for me. It kind of has a little bit of rouge malachite in here. Like there's a something this beautiful floral with a little leather in it. And this one lasts, this is a good, the Luby Raj is going to be having lasting power. So I think it's going to depend on which fragrance you get in this line. Um, but the Luby Raj most definitely, but if you're this uh, Luby Rouge, I'm afraid you might be disappointed um, in the longevity, if that helps. Okay. <laughs> Did that make sense, everybody? Okay, so you guys, thank you so much. Yes, thank Do you have you. any other final notes? I know Abby is much more well versed in, in fragrance than myself. No. <laughs> <laughs> I, I've told you, I've just been doing it a little bit longer. And I'm also like, I don't find like I'm the best at, um, I love it so much, but again, I think everybody has individual, yeah. um, you know, what they like or don't like. And so it's so, you know, it's fun to, I think we have fun talking about it. Um, oh yeah. I always tell people samples are fantastic. Um, make friends with you. I have a lot of friends at Nordstrom. Where <laughs> <laughs> are the perfume shops? Oh, they're like, Abby, you got to get Abby here. Oh, we're going to make our commission today. <laughs> I was like, I thought they were really my friends. <laughs> <laughs> they are. I promise, Abby, they are. <laughs> Um, but you guys, we love you so much. Thank yes, you, thank you so much. On. Oh, and um, everything you guys that we uh, talked about, I think there we talked about. I know I added some other ones in. I'll list them below. But you can always, uh, we're always happy to answer questions. Yeah. Put it in the description or it, respond, and um, we will. I try to be good about answering, and if not, you guys just I, I will promise I will get there. So <laughs> you guys are so amazing. Thank you so much. She's like, yay. Soon.